Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing hill climb racing. If you haven't played it before, then it's really simple. It's basically a drivey car flippy game thing. The tricky part of this game is all the physics that you have to simulate. You need gravity, collisions with the wheels, collisions with the chassis or whatever, momentum, angular momentum, friction, all the motor controls and stuff. And while I could code all of this myself, I have other things I want to do this year. So this is where a physics engine comes in. It handles all the fancy physics calculations for us so we can focus on all the other stuff. Uh, we're going to be using Box2D which is an open source physics engine. So the first thing I want to do is get some physics happening in Box2D. Box2D is kind of infamous for being a bitch to use. It's incredibly powerful. Like people have used it to create internal combustion engines, which is crazy, but you know, it, it can't be that hard. Yeah, that looks pretty. Oh my God. Oh no. It's, it's never easy, is it? There is so much wrong with this. Doing well. Oh God. Oh no. Oh. So our first mission is to get a bouncing ball happening. Here we go. Ah, that's not right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we got a falling dot happening. Now let's add a platform for the dot to bounce on. Beautiful. So yeah, let's actually start on the game as this is the entire reason you guys are here. Luckily, because it's a two dimensional game, a ball and a wheel are more or less identical. So we just kind of have to copy paste the code there. So let's have the program add a new wheel whenever the mouse is clicked for literally no reason apart from the fact that I want to. And here we go. You wanted wheels, we got wheels. Uh, wait, wait a second. That's not physics. Yeah, that's definitely not physics. <laughs> okay, kind of a rough start. Turns out that the wheels we created had an absurdly low density, which means that the frictional forces overcame any sort of momentum that the wheels had. So I fixed that and now she works beautifully, but we can't pat ourselves too hard on the back yet because we are a long way from the game, which we're trying to make. So let's add a car to those wheels. And by a car, I'm in a rectangle, but baby steps guys. Okay, done. Get keen. <laughs> ah, that's not it. Okay, attempt two. Nope, that's not right. Third time's a charm. And actually, that's exactly what I wanted. Sure, it exploded on impact, but if you know that minor detail, it worked just fine. And if you delicately place it on the ground, then it all stays together just fine. So I'm sure you notice that nothing's actually connected to each other. And while I'm not entirely sure, I don't recall the wheels coming off the car in the actual game. Correct me if I'm wrong. Some people might even argue that this isn't a car at all. It's just a rectangle and two circles, but they can take their opinions and shove them up there. So, um, yeah, sorry, uh, connecting shit. Introducing box 2D joints. Joints are how you connect bodies together. Bodies being the squares and circles which you've already created. There are so many types of joints, but for now, let's just look at the Revolute joint. This joint will fix the wheels position relative to the car and also allow for rotation, meaning it's perfect for what we want. So just slap on a few Revolute joints and now she works like a charm. Yeah, that looks pretty, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Yes, that happened. Um, I'm sure it won't be that hard to fix. Over here, maybe. It was probably just a one-time thing. That will never, oh my God, it's still doing it. Okay, uh, that probably fixed it. It's worse. How is it worse? It just glitched out of existence. Why? And so I simply slapped on some Revolute joints and now she works like a charm. It doesn't spontaneously explode or hack into the matrix. It's just sitting there and you can hit it with balls and stuff and it works, it works. Finally, too easy, mate. Who said box 2D was a spawn of hell? Piece of cake, mate. Technically a car, high five. <laughs> okay, making progress. It's painfully slow progress, but we're getting there. Let's change up the proportions a little bit to make it a little more car-like. I think the wheels could be a little bit bigger. <sighs> it's... It's never easy, is it? You can't just simply change something and it works perfectly. Hey, that actually looks pretty decent. Okay, getting somewhere. So now we're gonna need to add a motor to the car. So, so we can move it and shit. I don't know why I told you that. You know what a motor is. We need a motor. Luckily in Box2D, Revolute joints have motor capabilities built in. So it should be just as easy as turning it on.
Okay, go. Okay, go. Damn. Okay, go. Oh. Close, close. <laughs> Easy fix. Okay, go. Yes, it's alive. <laughs> Okay, now let's add controls. Hill Climb Racing only has two controls, forward and backwards, so implementing this should be pretty simple. And go. Oh my God, it worked. On the first try, I was successful. Yes, mum, look, I made it. <laughs> I'm a good programmer, I swear. Uh, okay, let's ramp up the power a little more and uh, oh, oh, look at him go. I'm doing that again. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, uh, help. <laughs> All right, so as exciting as flat ground is, it's time to add some terrain. For now, I'm just gonna connect randomly generated points to create a surface to drive on. Of course, this will mean it's rather angular with sharp edges, but we'll smooth it out later. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I don't know what I expected. There is so much wrong with this. Where is the car? Why are there only wheels? Oh, and now the wheels are gone. <laughs> okay, let's work on something that's easy to fix. All the points which generate the terrain should be spread out a little. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> well, at least the terrain looks good. After many hours of searching, I finally fixed the problem. I'm, I'm kidding, it's still shit. <laughs> Who hurt you, Aaron? Who hurt you? Okay, so the issue turned out to be the fact that Box2D is incapable of doing concave shapes. A concave shape being one with an inny bit. I don't know, it's like a cave. Wow, great explanation, Evan. Mm, shut up. Anyway, our terrain was in fact a concave shape, so Box2D tried its best to handle it. A valiant effort, but not quite good enough for our very high standards. The solution to this is pretty simple. The hardest bit was actually figuring out what was wrong with it. You just need to break the terrain up into smaller convex shapes. And so with that, victory is ours. A small victory, but a victory we will take. Okay, now we need to move the camera so that it follows the car as it moves along. This wasn't too hard, it wasn't trivial by any means, but compared to the other shit I've had to deal with, it was fine. Okay, in no time at all, we've created a game that vaguely represents the game we're setting out to make. Too easy, if you ask me. Little did I know, the pain had hardly even started. Next time on Code Bullet. Doing well. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's coming. Ah. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, it's wigging out. <laughs> okay. Looking good. Looking good. Ah, oh, damn. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, it's alive. Oh, everybody run. Evacuate. <laughs> Hey, do you want to learn how to build games like this? Well, you'll need to know a little bit of computer science. Sounds scary, but trust me, it really isn't. I do computer science at uni and some of the kids here struggle to use Microsoft Word. So I think you got it, I, I have faith in you. But like in everything with life, you need a great place to learn the fundamentals, which is where Brilliant.org's course on that very thing would be perfect for you. Their Computing Fundamentals course covers heaps of stuff that you'll need to know to start your journey into computer science. Get it, heaps of stuff? Heap, heap, ha! <laughs> And if you don't know what a heap is, then that's fantastic. This course is exactly for you. So if you want to check them out, use this link to learn more. And just between you and me, if you're getting quick, you can save some cash because the first 200 people to sign up will get 20% off their subscription. So if you want to learn some computer science and support this channel at the same time, I would really suggest checking them out. Hey guys, sorry for breaking this video up into parts. There's just so much content to cover here and I didn't want to skip over anything. I've been working on this one for a while, as you could probably tell. Uh, so yeah, look out for the next video. It should be out in a few days, hopefully. Probably not, but hopefully. And as always, thanks for watching. No, you can't just steal other people's sign-offs. And as always, stay curious. I'm pretty sure that's also taken. And it's also really bad. And as always, wear your seatbelt. No, stop it. You, you need something original. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. And as always, I will see you dudes in the next video. Oh my gosh.